that is a limiting belief. Take massive action. So you must get so excellent at what you do that people will literally predict. Trust me, you need to leave good behind so you upgrade. Hi, welcome again to the Upgrade Show. I remain your host, Saige Alex. Hi, welcome again to another episode on the Upgrade Show, and this is season two of the Upgrade Show, like we said about in the first episode. We told you that in season two, this time you get to send a question, we get to take your question on the show, and then we get to share with you the uh, part of the Upgrade culture for the week that you should live by, and also the get to have fun and leave you with the Upgrade quote for the week. I hope you enjoyed the quote from last last episode, which we told you that it's still life, no balance. You see balance, now you know stand well. But today, expect another amazing quote from the episode. So on this episode, we will be talking about the culture of honor. Yes, but before we get into that, someone asked a question, and we want to take that question here on this episode. Someone asked, is it okay? Is it not okay to treat people the way they treat you? What do you think about it? I like to I like to get some of your responses on the comment section. What do you think about it? Is it not okay to treat people the same way they treat you, like an eye for an eye? <laughs> what do you think about that? But 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 let's look at that for a bit. Is it not okay to treat people the way they treat you? Yes, some people would say, yeah, it's fine. Give people a taste of their own medicine, serve them a piece of their own pie, and all that. But I feel on this show that it is not okay to treat people the way that they treat you. I know people are gonna come for me on the comment section, but it's fine, it's fine. I don't feel that it's right that you get to treat people the same way they treat you because that would be you stooping down to their level when you can do better. So there's this story of um, Alexander the Great that he was passing by one day and then he saw a beggar and the beggar asked for arms and Alexander the Great gave the beggar a gold coin. And then one of his servants with him asked him that, that's a beggar. You could have given him a copper coin. Why did you have to give him a gold coin? And Alexander the Great said, it will not be head of that Alexander the Great gave someone a copper coin. Why did he do that? He realized that for his status, he could give by the level of his status and not by the level of the status of the beggar. Now, how does that translate to what we are doing today on the culture of honor? You don't treat people the same way that they treat you. Uh, what, what does that mean? You need to learn to honor people. Now, why is this important? Because you, as a person, must have a culture of honor. Because honor is you appreciating the goodness and the greatness in another person now even if the person doesn't look like it right now that still doesn't give you the right to dishonor the person now you may say okay um but he, he really doesn't respect me so why should i respect the person see look at it from the perspective if he needs to respect you for you to respect him that shows you're not a person of honor it shows that you are a respecter of persons and not a respectful person. So what do you think? Yeah. So you must learn to practice a culture of honor, which means you get to honor people, not because they are deserving or not because they look honorable, but because you are a person of honor, which means you show them respect, you accord them value, you, you treat them the way you would want to be treated, not how they treat you. I know we all want to do an eye for an eye. You know, like Mahatma Gandhi said, an eye for an eye and the whole world will be full of blind people. So you can't always pay people evil for evil. No wonder they say that you should overcome evil with good, which means you must become that person who honors people, who respects people, who give accolades, even when they don't give you accolades in return. Because you're a person of honor, because that's the culture you live by. You always try to make things better than you met it because you are a person of honor. So guys, this week, wherever you find yourself, 
your business place, in your organization where you work, in your church where you fellowship, or even in the mosque, wherever you find yourself, try to practice this culture of honor. Because it's one that makes you stand out from the rest. You know, right now we, we're in a generation where people don't know how to honor and respect each other. Everybody is always about what's in it for me, what do I stand to gain. They really don't make other people feel special because the people have not made them feel special first. But that shouldn't be your culture. That shouldn't be you. You should make people feel important, make people feel honored, let people feel valued, even if they are not doing that for you because you have decided to live by the culture of honor. And it's very possible. You can practice it. It's not, it's not something that is difficult. It's not rocket science. It's easy. Just make a decision and live by that decision to always honor people. And you can do that when you already see yourself as an honorable person. That's why it becomes easy for you to honor another person. So guys, this is the size of the show for today. And like I already told you, every week we give you the upgrade quote of the week. And for today's quote of the week, it is, you do not honor people because they are honorable. You honor them because you are honorable. So I'll take that again so you can get it. You do not honor people because they are honorable. You honor people because you are honorable. So what does that tell you? You need to start seeing yourself as an honorable. You don't need to be in the house of Azem, you need to be an honorable. Well, how you treat yourself and how you treat other people, that shows that you're an honorable person and that shows that you practice the culture of honor. And guys, it's not something that's difficult if you really make a decision. And it's something that will stand you out from the crowd because not everybody honors people today. People treat people with disrespect, with dishonor, with disregard. And by the time you start to be different, be the one who treats people with honor, you begin to stand out in the eyes of the people who see you because they know that this is different. And guess what? Everybody loves what's different. So don't follow the crowd. Don't join the bandwagon. Start, try to practice this culture of honor. And trust me, over time, with deliberate practice and intentionality, it becomes a culture for you. So you don't even have to think it. It's just something that you live out every day of your life. So you honor people. When you meet people, you show them that they're honorable, even if they don't feel like it, even if they know that they don't deserve it. But it's not about what they deserve. It's not about what they feel like. It's about who you are. And you only project the honor that you have onto others because you see yourself as honorable so you can treat other people with the same thing that you have seen yourself. So guys, this is episode two on season two of the Upgrade Show. And I hope this has helped you. So like we always say, leave a comment, drop a question that you want us to take on the show. And I'm super excited for those of you who are sending in your questions. You guys are amazing. Like you guys are the best and you guys are honorable. You know that, right? You guys are honorable. So keep sending in your questions, keep giving us feedback so we know what we could improve, what we could do better, how we could serve you better on this season two of the Upgrade Show. And remember, we're doing this because of you. And you are the reason why we're here. So make it worthwhile. Always stay with us. And before I end this episode, hope you're following us on TSO Nigeria TV on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Telegram. Hope you're following us so you can always get yourself updated with the latest information all around the globe. Yes, that's the place to be. And guys, you're an honorable person. So leave out the culture of honor as you go about your business this week. Until next time, like I always tell you, there is more on the upgrade side of life. So leave good behind so you upgrade and keep practicing the culture of honor. I'll see you on the next episode. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.